Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on project of low power bit spaced multiplier design. So this is the first video for making a project on VHDL. So this is the basic IEEE paper as you can see here. It is an abstract and you got two mail IDs which we have done and this is the latest paper of 2016 so since it is a 2016 you can able to see here the in description that i have posted this video on 2016 so that's the reason it is for me it is the latest paper and and also you can see the date where when i have recorded it and the timings also 9:46 it's 9:46 morning on 27th of november 2016 the paper was pro published around june i think so it the cost of the IEEE paper is around thirty one dollars, which I have bought it from the IEEE website. So this is the introduction, as you can can able to see. There is a test pattern generation and multiplier design. So normally a multiplier, bit based multiplier. So in this bit based multiplier, there is a multiplier which is implemented using low gate level. It is nothing but so that is your multiplier schematic. As you can see that a half adder is used and some AND gates and full adder are used, uh, full adder, half adders. So similarly, so by using this half adder and full adder, we they have implemented a basic multiplier. So RTL schematic it is. So in my videos I will be show, we will be going to see what is RTL schematic everything, step by step how to create a project. So next a gate level combination used for a half adder and full adder. These blocks are used for combination of multiplier generated uh, best, for best implementation nothing but built-in self-test a test pattern generator is used by using a linear feedback chip register a three register are used for random four bit number generation it is compared to low power process design everything will be written so uh, <coughs> introduction is waste don't read it every time when you take a IEEE paper next go for second by second thing where important stuff is present this is the normal test pattern generation tpg for the best implementation as you can see that it is started from 000 initially all the bits were zero and then it has been uh, we are getting 110 everything so uh, signal active high enable all that all these kind of things are written then uh, no worries so this is what we have to generate it it can be done by two methods write a simple code if else or for every clock pulse next 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 this this two you have to get or you can implement by using there as usual the XOR get you should take and we have to take a D flip flop see here it is a D flip flop easy you, uh, you can able to see the D and enable a clock and a output is present so we have to implement this kind of D flip flop which has D uh, reset and clock and output so these three should be there for our d flip flop this kind of d flip flop we should implement we will be implementing no worries so in one program one of my video i will be showing how to gen how to create this test pattern generator same diagram how to create it and next the last step is bits multiplier here we have three two data one clock one enable one reset and that is the product we will be getting so as usual you can see that the how many inputs are there and how many outputs are there as usual you can see here also in bits how many inputs are there what this test mode we will be not discussing in this video in this video not in entire my project i will be not discussing about the test mode we will be having our product as because as you can see that here he has implemented the test waveforms which we have got it is the this is the values so you can see 0 10 Again, he has got a zero. So similarly, clock by clock cycle has been gone. If you want anywhere to see the video, just pause it and then have a look. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.